Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here. It's day number 159 of Giggling. Welcome back to another edition of Confessions of Giggler. Um, we're here today. It's Sunday, June 11th. Yes, Sunday, June 11th. <laughs> and it's time for volume six of Ask Ash because it's June. So on the 11th of every month, here we are doing an Ask Ash whatever. Um, and before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to, to everyone who, who submits questions and stuff. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, if no one asked questions then this series would go nowhere. So, <laughs> and I hope that like, I don't know, I hope that they're fun, uh, like little fun, random things to do. Um, so anyway, here we go. Let's get to it. Cause I mean, there's a few here. So let's go. Number one, <laughs> favorite Disney ride. So I just did a, a, my top five Disney rides maybe a couple weeks ago or so. Um, and so you can find all of my top five there. <laughs> but um, my, my favorite ride currently is, um, my favorite ride at Disney World currently is Guardians of the Galaxy at Cosmic Rewind. And my favorite ride at, um, <laughs> in Disneyland in California, well, Disneyland Resort, so both, both parks, would be, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. <laughs> um, so, I mean, is it a coincidence that both of them are Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know, but they are both very fun rides, and you should check them out. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but I do have my top five Disney World rides. Um, uh, just a just a little bit ago um so next question is top three road trip snacks um so <laughs> court and i will be going on a road trip very soon like within the week <laughs> and so you will be seeing all of our snacky snacks that we have in our car but um but when i think about having road trip snacks i like to we always make sure we have a case of water which isn't really a snack at all it's just making sure you stay hydrated <laughs> But, um, we also, we always like to have some sort of like chips, some sort of cookie, some sort of like fruit snack, and then maybe, maybe a candy, like a, a bag of candy. <laughs> um, and I know that's not really top three and like, I don't have, I don't really have anything specific that I would add to it. It's just like whatever, uh, like when I go shopping for the things, whatever like stands out that I'm like, Ooh, I want to eat that. <laughs> So never anything like very specific, but, um, but we do really love those cookies from CBS. The, <laughs> they're like cream and raspberry, like whatever. They're really good. Um, okay. Next <laughs> share one piece of life advice you've received and who gave it to you. Um, okay. So this is my favorite life advice and, and no one, no one like in my life gave it to me. I got it from a TV show. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a vlog about it, but I'm, I'm, I don't know like when I, when that happened. Um, anyway, so from the show, <laughs> Never Have I Ever on Netflix, it's a great show. Everyone should watch it. Season four is out now. I'm almost done. I'm a little sad that it's going to be over because like every show is ending. But anyway, in one of the episodes, the mom told the, the main girl that, um, to always, rem to remember that, you are always enough and you are never too much. And that is, that is something that I think about all the time. And I think that that is really, really great life advice, especially for, for someone like me who feels like I'm very extra. <laughs> so, so I, I'm like always, I always feel like I'm too much, but I also always feel like I'm never enough. Like I'm never good enough. So I, 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 so that's something that like I always try to tell myself to, to remember, um, so you are always enough and you are never too much. And that I think is just perfect life advice. <laughs> um, then the next one is favorite and least favorite candle scent. Um, so my favorite candle scent would be um, anything like Christmas cookies. Actually, I have this. <laughs> so I have this here, the Yankee Candle uh, car one. It's Christmas cookies. I just keep it here. So then when I want to smell something nice. 
Um, this is because this is my workstation. Um, so Christmas cookies, <laughs> but also like I love anything that's like summery or tropical, like coconutty. I love coconut scented things. I love coconut. Um, so cookies or coconut are my top, my two top favorite scents. Um, as far as least favorite scents, like I don't really love like citrusy things or anything that's too like too cinnamony, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, um, yeah, like, it's hard to, it's hard to say, like, I just know, like, when, if I, like, I never, I never, like, read what the candles are called. <laughs> I just pick them up, and I'm like, and I smell them, and I'm like, oh, yuck, or yay, you know? So, I don't really know what my least favorites are. It's more like those, like, woodsy smells and I'm like nah on you know you know what I mean <laughs> so like I like like light airy um kind of floral not too floral <laughs> tropical I love tropical and and baked goods <laughs> loved baked goods <laughs> so those are my favorite uh candle scents um okay next question is your favorite gay icon um, well, it's June, so happy Pride Month to everyone. Um, my favorite gay icon, I don't know, I don't know, maybe like, I guess the first one that comes to mind is Elton, so I'm gonna have to go with Elton. I really loved his movie, the the Rocket Man movie, it was really good. Um, so yeah, let's go with Elton. Elton John is my favorite. <laughs> um, next question would be, is, um, Gaga or Britney? Um, that's a tough call. Uh... <laughs> So I've never seen either of them live. Um, I mean, like, Britney is my era. Um, but, like, I was always like, yeah, she's fine. I guess Gaga. I, th I guess I'll go with Gaga. Um, because also, Gaga is, like, an incredible actress. Like, she is really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and and her Super Bowl performance, her Super Bowl halftime show, is still one of my all-time favorites. Like, when she had the drones and she, like, just, like skydived in from the top <laughs> like that was really cool um so yeah let's go with gaga gaga I, i'm gonna i'm gonna say gaga <laughs> um what would your walkout song be um i don't know i guess this is like baseball like like a baseball thing like <laughs> i think i think the players have a walkout song when they when it's like their time to bat um i don't know what would my what would my um walkout song be I don't know. I, like, I'm reading these questions for the first time. I probably should have read them beforehand so I could come up with answers. Um, I don't know. I'm going to circle back to this, and I'm going to think about it, and it's going to be its own its own thing later, at a later date, because I want to give you an answer. I just don't have one right now. <laughs> um, okay. Next question is, what are you most excited for when going to Mexico? Um... Let's see, what am I most excited? I'm most excited to like, just go on a nice vacation with my friends. <laughs> and like, oh, a town's gonna happen to be there and we're gonna have like really fun concerts and stuff. Um, so like, I'm just excited for the overall, just the overall experience. I think I'm also very excited for karaoke um, because I do really love performing <laughs> and I don't get a chance to do it very often. So, I mean, I'll take it when I can get it. <laughs> Oh, also the acoustic sets. Those are going to be fun, too. Um, I think just the whole thing. I'm just excited for the whole trip in general. I don't have any, any specifics because I just named everything that's going to happen. <laughs> um, let's see. Next question is, uh, one fact about every O-Town member that you love about them. Um, <laughs> this is, like, another thing that I have to think about. And it's not that I, like, it's not that, like, I have to think about it because I don't know because I, I do know <laughs> I mean like you know I love them so much but it's like it's something that I want to um talk more in, in depth about <laughs> I guess um so like I if I'm if I think about it quickly um let's see um yeah I don't know I have to I have to <laughs> Uh, it's hard. It's hard. 
Um, so I love, I love like just, just off the top of my head. So just going through quickly. I love Trevor's energy. I love Dan's kindness. I love Eric's, um, like, I guess nerdiness. <laughs> If that's a if that's a thing, um, like how serious he and excited he gets about like dumb stuff, like like we would we would get, um, and and Jacob, I love like I love like his just carefree attitude, but like like he cares, but he, like he doesn't care kind of deal. Um, you know, he's just living his best life. <laughs> Who could blame him? So those like that's like just really quick things <laughs> um but I could I could circle back to that at another time also if you would like so let me know if you want that um next question is what is your favorite book um I'm not really much of a reader <laughs> I'm more of a like a tv person or a movie person over a book person um but that being said I did read all the Harry Potters I did read um, I did read like the Hunger Games and I read Twilight, so like all, all those sorts of things, like the, the big trendy books I read. Um, other than that, I haven't read a lot. I didn't really even read the books that I was assigned to read in school. <laughs> I was just like, eh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll listen in class and get by. Um, and yeah, so... <laughs> I I never really read it a ton, um. But yeah, I guess Harry, I guess Harry Potter would be my favorite of of the things of the books. And my favorite my favorite Harry Potter book is the Goblet of Fire, the fourth book. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, then the last question we have here is, um, have your favorite members of each band stayed the same, or did your favorites change? as you got older. So when I first, like, <laughs> my first instinct was like, if the members themselves <laughs> changed, <laughs> like if my favorite person changed as a person, <laughs> but that's dumb. That's not what it's asking. It's asking if my favorite member of the group changed, like, did I switch lanes? <laughs> so, um, ki like kind of, but not really. So let's go through it. So, Backstreet Boys. Howie D has been my favorite since the get-go, since the Quit Playing Games music video. I mean, you go watch it and you tell me who's your favorite. <laughs> so, I, um, Howie D has been my favorite since, since then. Um, and it, it's never changed. I've never, I've never wavered. <laughs> I stuck by Howie D through his long hair phase, through like, through all that um and you know Howie D is looking really good these days I mean <laughs> he's gonna be 50 this year and he's like wow um I mean I will say that that you know Nick Carter comes swinging in and out sometimes but he's never my favorite um so yeah Howie D stuck by Howie D um then you have Big Time Rush um Kendall's my favorite Kendall's still my favorite uh I mean, <laughs> we make a lot of jokes that I'm going to, like, make signs that say, like, <laughs> this summer that's going to be like, I'm a Maslow girl now. Sorry, Kendall. <laughs> but, like, that's just, like, silly fun to us. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Kendall will always have a special place in my heart. Like, really special. Um, so, Yeah. <laughs> No, that has not changed. Um, and then you have O-Town. So this this one did change. And that's because um, back in the day, I was an APA girl. And then it, he didn't come back to the group. So I had to change. Um, and even now, like, since, since like, it's like, I don't now it's like it's so hard to say that any of them any one of them is my favorite because like they're just all so incredible um so yeah so that's 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 a very fluid a very fluid one <laughs> um, so yeah um so that did change but that's because you know my favorite member from the beginning is no longer a member so you have to you have to uh, pivot at that point. <laughs> um, 
so yeah that's all the questions um I think I hope that I answered them well for you and if if not please just say something and, and say hey can you elaborate and I'll be like sure and I'll make a whole video just for that and I have to remember the walkout song one please please remind me to, to make that video um so yeah that's gonna be it for me for today and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow love you bye